everybody, my name is Zul and welcome to Modding Fallout 3. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the weapons. Uh, more essentially, we're going to be changing just how the weapons work and uh, we're going to be adding iron sights to them. Uh, this is a, a pretty big change to the game because uh, unlike New Vegas, Fallout 3 doesn't have iron sights, which I think is just an absolute shame. It completely ruins the immersion and other such things of the game. But uh, without further ado, let's get started! Hi everybody and welcome to Fallout 3 Modding. Today we're going to be looking at RH Iron Sights. Uh, this is a mod that does something that was uh, a feature in New Vegas but was missing from the installment of Fallout 3 and that is the ability to look down the iron sights of a gun. Uh, as you can see here it does multiple guns. In fact uh, with the compatibility patches that we've used it should cover almost everything in FWE. So there's no need to worry about that uh, including things like uh, this here weapon. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit misaligned, but the accuracy of the gun is uh, almost exactly with the trigger. Let's take, quickly take a look at a couple of the settings in the mod before we get started talking about how to install it. You can configure the mod using something called Gun Oil. Uh, this allows you to set weapon modification hotkeys. This allows you to adjust the iron sights hand drift. Uh, you can set it all the way up to maximum, or what you previously saw was the minimum. You can also turn on and off the blur, but uh, none of these other settings are actually available. So this is what it looks like with maximum drift. Uh, the drift is dependent on your gun's skill. So as you can see, the gun actually does drift around and it's a lot harder to aim than iron sights, and it increases the spread a little bit. This is something to note depending on the kind of playthrough you'd like to do. So without further ado, let's look at how to install this mod. So we're going to navigate along to the Nexus, and we are going to go to the page for RH Iron Sights FOSE. Yes, like everything else, you need the script extender. Um, so what we're, we're going to do now is we're going to go along to the file section here. We are going to download RH Iron Sights Beta, RH Iron Sights Beta Update 1 with the manager. I'm also going to point out down here, as these download, yes, I understand you're downloading. No, go away. There we are, sorry about that. Uh, I would also just like to point out that there are a lot of optional files. Uh, there's some new crosshairs uh, that you can use with some of the guns. Uh, this might be something of interest to you. In fact, I think I might try this out, but uh, not for the video. There are new weapons for the beta. It adds a bunch of weapons that uh, can be found and all have iron sights on them. And then there are all of the compatibility patches, including one for FWE. And since we have FWE, download with manager. Uh, now I'd recommend that you uh, keep this page in mind because later on in our video series, we are going to be covering EVE and weapon mod kits. Uh, so it's a good idea to keep this in mind. You might even want to download those now if you intend on following the entire tutorial. But uh, yeah, basically let's wait for these to uh, install into our mod manager and then we'll see what's next. All right, now that everything's downloaded and installed, we're going to go over here and we're going to activate the RH Iron Sights Beta. And activate. It's going to ask to overwrite Wanderer's Edition. Yes to all. It's always good to pay attention to what you're writing over. All right, that's done. Now we're going to go over here and install the update, clicking no and then clicking yes. That was a very fast installation. I think that there's a dialog box. No. And then finally, we are going to install the FWE bridge, clicking no. And there we are. That's done. Now, as always, run boss and uh, try it out for yourself in-game to make sure that everything's working before proceeding to the next step. I would just like to remind you to run boss before trying to launch the game, or you may experience problem with some of the iron sights on these energy weapons. But as you can see, they work just fine. Now, there's a nice visual effect of Eve right there. Um, and I think if we head over here to deal with one of these guys, we'll see another one. So I've just interspersed a few screenshots uh, from the actual EVE mod page. I wasn't able to collect as much footage as I wanted to this week, which is unfortunate, but I did want to show off a little bit of EVE because I think it's an awesome mod. Uh, you're going to get a lot of these radiant explosions, especially on characters with uh, high energy skills and high luck, I believe, factors into it. Almost everything will work with the iron sights so long as you use boss, so uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to leave you with. Uh, and now let's uh, quickly tuck over and look at the installation of EVE. Alright, 
To install EVE, navigate along to the file section of the EVE Nexus mod page. Now you're going to be presented with two main files. Uh, basically the difference between these two is if you have Operation Anchorage, the DLC, download the bottom one with Manager. If you don't, download the top one. Uh, the bottom one is a unified install, so it uses a single plugin as opposed to several different plugins. Uh, and if you look down here, there's a couple of different optional files. I'm not going to install any of them, so don't worry about it. Uh, but uh, if you have Anchorage, download the bottom one with Manager, which I have already done. Now we get along to the blackened patches yet again. Uh, and this is only if you have the Paradox Ignition version. See, this is the Paradox install. If you don't have the Paradox install, you're going to have to find uh, something called the Fallout Interoperability Program for compatibility. But uh, download with Manager on the FWE MMM EVE merge patch. Uh, I've already done this as well. If you're watching this series in a binge, uh, you might as well go along and download the one with Project Beauty because later on I will be covering that one. But remember that this only works if you have the Paradox Ignition merge combo of EVE. Once these are downloaded, uninstall any previous blackened patch you had. In an earlier video in this series, I had you uninstall the FWE MMM version of the mod. Uninstall that now, and then activate EVE. This is a fairly long install, so it is going to take a little while. If it asks you to overwrite anything from Fallout Wanderers Edition, click yes to all. We have a compatibility patch to solve this problem. And we're done. Now we're going to navigate along to the blackened patch. Make sure you uninstall the other one before activating this. And it's done. Uh, you don't need to have the other blackened patch because it's unnecessary. And there we have it. We now have Eve and RH Iron Sights installed, so our weapons are going to be better. In the next episode, we're going to be looking towards modding the weapons themselves uh, in the mod weapon mod kits and uh, other such enhancements to the weapons. Uh, later on in the series, we are going to be looking towards making the characters look better and then making the world look better. So that there's that to look forward to. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, do appreciate anybody who likes to watch these videos, and I hope that it helps. Um, leave a comment, feedback, any sort of thing. That would be greatly appreciated. But uh, until next time, I'll see you later. I've been Zul. I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart